So welcome everyone from the Paramount Chamber that's watching this live, Barbara and Lorraine, and that's watching on the recording. We are going to get into Instagram for sales. Um, as some of you know, I am Deborah Darris. I'm with the Long Beach City College Small Business Development Center. And my whole role here is to save you time, save you energy, and make you money. My nickname for Deborah Darris is Debbie Dinero <laughs> because I help businesses increase their revenue. Um, I, like you, am a small business owner. I started my business back in 2002. I've been doing digital marketing, social media, email marketing for 10 years, and I never thought that I would do that as a business. My bachelor's degree was in marketing and my, my master's was in education. So I was a professor for 16 years teaching human services, but I always loved technology and I would teach technology classes. And while I was a professor um, at the University of Phoenix, um, Verizon hired me for a gig um, where I was going to do 10 hours of speaking for, for like $60,000 on technology. And I was like, wait a minute, I, I'm done with education. I love it. I love technology. <laughs> you mean I could teach marketing and, you know, triple my revenue? And there I was, done grading papers and off to a whole world of digital marketing. I speak at conferences. As a speaker, I had amazing conferences that got canceled in Monaco, Medellin, Colombia, um, Italy. Oh, well, they'll come back next year. We all know that. Okay. So what is Instagram? It is a whole, like I was saying to Barbara, if you're finding it hard, if you're finding it confusing, I did for so long. I'm like, why is my Facebook growing exponentially? Why is, you know, my LinkedIn growing by leaps and bounds, but Instagram is like stuck <laughs> at, at 45 followers or whatever. And I realized that Instagram for business is very different. Listen to this, it's very different than just Instagram for fun. So if you're doing Instagram for fun, you're going hiking, you maybe take a picture, or Instagram for fun, you eat something, you take a picture, or you wanna take a selfie, that's Instagram for fun, okay? In or to be an influencer. Instagram for business is we're solving the pain or problem that our target market has. I'm gonna talk about how to do that. So how it's unique, I was talking to Barbara about this before, it is not like Facebook or LinkedIn, which is very intuitive for most of us, especially in my generation, which is an over 40 generation, anybody in my generation? Um, in my generation, we read and we read from left to right. And Instagram is not a left to right platform. It's a top down platform. So it takes a lot of, you know, it just takes you to shift out of your comfort zone of that. So you may be looking for something and how do I do this and how do I do that? By the way, if you ever want to know how to do a story or how to do reels or how to do a highlight, you can always go to your friend. Those of you that were with me at the YouTube webinar, you could always go to YouTube and say how to make a reel, how to add a story. And there will be somebody on YouTube that will give you step-by-step -step instructions, okay? So I'm gonna teach you today how to set up your profile so that you can get sales right from your profile. What we're gonna do today, which I'm very excited about, is we're going to make a mini website on your Instagram that is going to enable you to make appointments, um, to make sales, to start the sales cycle with your shirts or with your memberships. It is going to be super cool. And people that I know, because I've done this course, I don't know, four or five times this year since I created it, um, and they instantly see an increase in followers. And if you follow all the steps of the subsequent webinars, you're going to see followers turn to sales. Okay? So I'm going to teach you how to organically do that. Um, what does organically mean? It means without paying for ads. It means by, by having great content. So if you have the company DNA and you're making these spiritual t-shirts, how do you find people that want spiritual t-shirts and that they want to buy them from you? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do that. Um, and it's relatively simple, but it's also time consuming. So I'm going to suggest that all of us here on the call 
that we get some sort of an intern or a virtual assistant. Um, I just interviewed somebody yesterday to help me. It's so important to have some help with this, if you can. Um, and maybe you can get a local community college to give you free interns if you don't have a budget. Okay, so I'm also gonna talk to you about the process of turning followers to sales, turning comments to customers. So that's cool. Um, and some of what I'm gonna teach you here in Instagram will cross over to Facebook, but most of it is very, very specific to Instagram. I'm also gonna teach you how to set up your Instagram, how to create posts, how to make beautiful graphic design. During the five minutes that we were waiting to get started, I was posting on my Instagram stories. I'm launching a huge new program um, today on 11.11. So while I'm on the webinar, my Instagram stories can be selling it. Why? Because the visual image that I made are like videos. So it's like a commercial. There are five stories, and the first story is going to tease them about the program. The second story is going to give them more information, more information, more information. The fifth, the fifth story will be a call to action. And we're going to do an Instagram webinar just on stories. So you're going to love that. We're also going to talk about the easiest way to set up your content to sell. Did you know, Barbara, you can create shoppable links on Instagram? even if you don't have 10,000 followers. How? You set up a store on Facebook business that owns Instagram, you connect it, and I can show you the steps. Um, all of you are, if you're a small business development client, can get coaching from me. And by the way, Barbara, you can also sign up with Paramount Chamber if you wanted to get coaching from me from, from the SBDC. I talked to Brad and it's cool, okay? Yeah, we already are signed up. Ooh, so. great. Okay. So a lot of the stuff that I'm going to cover today, if you don't know how, that's what I can train you with one-on-one -on -one during a session. And you too, Lorraine, don't worry about it. Um, I'm also going to share with you resources so that you can have a scheduler for Instagram. So you're busy, you're at this webinar, you're also thinking about a million different things you have on your to-do list. Hopefully you're not multitasking, um, but you're going to be able to set up your Instagram with a scheduler. So once a week you set it up and then it goes out and is marketing your business all week long. Isn't that cool? Love it. Okay. So let's talk about why to post on Instagram. I'm not going to talk too much about this because I think you already know, but there are 1 billion users every single month on Instagram. There's 500 million views on IG stories each and every day. When I say IG, I realize people don't know what I'm talking about. IG is short for Instagram, sorry, IG. We talk, Instagram is a very young millennial platform. Even though I'm not a young millennial, I act like one. <laughs> so sometimes I talk millennial talk and I'll say DM and IG and collab and I'll, I'll make sure I explain to you what that means. So. Now, the one of the there's a lot of benefits of the quarantine. There's a lot of challenges with the quarantine, with the shutdowns. But the benefits for us as business owners is there's more people than ever online, and there's more people than ever using Instagram. Literally, Instagram became our entertainment during quarantine. Um, Forbes magazine did an article. I don't know if you know of a DJ. His name is D Nice. He went from having, I don't know, like 40,000 people on his Instagram to getting over a million because he had like a DJ party. And then, you know, everybody was on this DJ party. Everybody, like famous stars, like Denzel Washington, Halle Berry, all these people. Oh, Michelle Obama. And he started getting hired to do Instagram live parties and getting sponsored, like to get the vote out. So... People are burnt out on TV. They're burnt out on the news. They've seen all of Netflix because we've been home, stayed home so much. They're burnt out. Where are they looking for entertainment? Instagram and YouTube. Okay, that's why I was teaching you Instagram and YouTube because we need to be where our clients and potential customers are. And because we don't have the ability now to go out and do expos or have fairs or holiday things and be face-to-face -face unless we're at a drive-in, we need to have a way to get to them. So posting in the feed, posting on the stories. And the other thing that's different about Instagram 
is it's not like Facebook where it doesn't matter what you post. Like you can post the text and then you can post the quote and then you can post the video. This is your visual portfolio. And the rule of thumb on Instagram is your last six squares of posting the pictures should tell the story of what is the pain or problem that you solve for people. So if you were the Paramount Chamber, maybe there would be a picture of a small business Saturday where everybody was getting together. It could be a flashback from last year. Maybe there is a video where somebody's talking about the events for the month and all the great webinars. So then maybe there's a picture of a holiday drive that you're doing to raise money for kids for tots, everybody donate, right? So I'm giving you ideas and I'm gonna give you more ideas, both of you, everyone. Um, but basically people are able to glance at your Instagram and understand what you're doing. And I say glance or scroll because people do not read in today's day and age, especially on Instagram, they're going like this. So you really have to capture their attention which is why video is so much better than any sort of uh, just static post, okay? So I know some of you um, may not be proficient in video, but you will be, because I'm gonna teach you. Um, but you don't have to do video, but video will always have more impact, especially reels, especially stories, especially IGTV. We're gonna talk about all of that. Okay, so you can sell, like I said, tangible products. So say you have shirts, uh, spirit, spiritual shirts. You can create, and I can help you through the Long Beach Small Business Development Center free. Um, they give you about five sessions. Um, you could, I could help you to set up a store in Facebook. And then when people go to your Instagram, they can click a button and order shirts right from Instagram. And you're like, why? Why can't they just go to my website? I spent $2,000 building a website or all this time building a website. You wanna make it as easy as possible. And if they don't have to leave Instagram, they may buy easier, faster. So we always wanna help people to buy. So I'm gonna give you like three or four different ways to get people to buy from your Instagram. Okay, I have to show you a success story of one of my clients. So this is my client here. She is a doctor, plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills. Uh, her name is Dr. Sheila Nazarian. She also owns a skin clinic um, called The Skin Spot for non-surgical facelifts. So she has an Instagram. And what the Instagram does, and it really helped me, especially during quarantine, because I couldn't go to get my eyelashes installed. And because I had these eyelashes installed one at a time, all of my eyelashes fell off. I look like a cancer patient, right? So on her Instagram, she was doing an Instagram story. This is the feed, okay? The story is the circle that you click where you, it only lasts for 24 hours and then it goes away. So what she did in her story, she said, let me show you my skincare routine. I use, and she was using um, Latisse on my eyelashes, and her eyelashes were so long. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. And then she had a coupon code for 20% off. I purchased those eyelashes um, or the natural serum on, from her Instagram. Why? Because she didn't say buy it. She showed me how to use it. Do you see the difference? So Instagram is showing, not telling. So you're not telling people what to do. You're showing people, and this is so important for all social media platforms, you're showing people how your business, how your product, how your service solves their pain or problem. Does that make sense? So I was like, I, th I think somebody, can you mute somebody? Somebody's like unmuted and we hear background noise. I don't know what happened. Okay, so um, Sheila, Wait, I'm not done with Sheila. It was a muting issue. Um, hopefully Barbara can mute them. Um, so Dr. Sheila, I lost my train of thought. There was some like noise in my ear. Um, so Dr. Sheila did such a great job with the skin spot on Instagram that even during the pandemic, and especially during the time when they weren't during surgery, she was able to have you know a stream of revenue come in. And it was actually more than in the store because of all of the influencers. She uses influencer marketing and she herself is an influencer. 
and I'll talk about that later. But from her social media, she, as a small business owner, was able to get a special on Netflix. Have you heard of Netflix? Um, so she has a show on Netflix about her business, and it's called The Skin Decision. Pretty cool, right? Um, so she has a show, if you guys want to see it, The Skin Decision, where people are deciding whether to have surgery or not have surgery and why and everybody's reasons and there's stories behind it. So she really was able to have her business take off even during the pandemic. But do you see what she did? Her six squares tell a story. It's not like, oh, here's her kids and here's her, you know, on her personal Instagram, which she does have one, you do see her kids and her house in Bel Air and all this kind of stuff. But on here, it's very specific, right? So I don't suggest that you have multiple Instagrams. However, if you want to post personal stuff, I would have a personal Instagram. Um, unless you post personal things that relate to your business, um, which I do all the time. Um, so here's a quote. Here's an educational uh, item. So she's talking about how her skin products are natural. Like uh, Lorraine could talk about how your shirts are soft, because that's a big deal for me if I'm going to buy a shirt. I don't want a shirt that's hard or that doesn't feel good on the skin. So you have to do a little education of what your product does, how it helps solve their pain or problem. So she's talking about the keys to even skin tone. That's education. Then you're making people aware. Oh, did you know that you don't need to have a facelift? That you could just get the skin cream and it'll put it on. I don't know, I'm making it up. You just put it on. And then you always want to have a call to action. Not just any call to action, a CCTA, a clear call to action where 20% off. And she'll say something like swipe up. And when you swipe up, I'll teach you how to do that. Boom, you'll be able to buy right from Instagram. She also has shoppable. If you want to see what shoppable links look like, you can go to her page and you'll see it. I think that would be good for Lorraine. Okay, so how is Instagram unique? Here's another friend of mine. She's not a client, but she's almost at 1 million followers. I met her at Beach Volleyball. She was a yoga teacher, small business owner like you, and she built her Instagram up by creating valuable content. So here's the deal. The more quality content that you give, the more people are going to follow you. So like, say I was the Paramount Chamber, and maybe I can help you with some of this um, in our sessions. And we, um, we, you create um, like a feature of Paramount Chamber Member of the Week, and you invite them to submit a one-minute video where they talk about um, how much they love the chamber and what their business is. So they're doing two things. They're giving you a testimonial, but they're also getting to promote their business, right? Um, and that creates content for you. And then their followers become your followers and their people are like them. So they're the perfect ideal target market for you, okay? So that's just one idea, but there's lots of ideas that I have. But the key thing that Koya did to grow her small, small business, that's now a huge business, she got a book deal from her Instagram. So Sheila got a Netflix deal. I'm giving you the best case scenario, okay? Um, she got a book deal um, with Hay House Books um, that publishes Wayne Dyer, Esther Hicks, Dr. Joe Dispenza, a lot of great new thought um, personal development authors. Um, and her, she went from being a local yoga teacher to being an international yoga teacher. So that's pretty awesome. She has membership programs, coaching programs, et cetera. Um, you do for Instagram, photos and good quality photos are important. If you see, hers are professionally done. Sheila also has a professional photographer. Um, I don't have a professional photographer, but I also don't have a million people. I use my iPhone. Um, I also use, <coughs> hold on. Um, I also use some stock photography. I use Adobe stock images. People don't like it when you use Adobe stock. They rather have personal images. So I try not to use it unless it's like on a flyer or something, um, which is another thing that's really important. If you ever have an event, like say you're going to do a holiday online virtual bazaar for the Paramount Chamber, right? You don't want to have the exact same flyer that you would hand out to people on your Instagram. You would want to make the font big and create something like this first picture with Koya. 
you want to have the text as easy to read as possible, which this isn't a good picture, so it's not easy to read, but you want everything to be easy to read. You want to stay on brand with your messaging. So whatever your messaging is, maybe your DNA and you're talking about spiritual quotes, right? Maybe that's your messaging. Um, but you want to be consistent with your brand and your brand includes the color. So if Paramount Chamber is certain colors, use those colors, stick to the palette, stick to the front. And this is something I didn't understand, but people do business with people they like, trust, and respect. And think about you. If you like McDonald's, which I don't know if you do, they have a new vegan burger coming out. Um, and you go to China and you want to go get a, a hamburger. If you see McDonald's and it's that yellow and red, you have some reliability. You're like, oh, I know what I'm going to get, right? So people want to be uh, sure that they know what they're going to get from you. They want to trust you. How do you build trust? Consistency, okay? Consistency in your posting, consistency in your color. I never understood this. And then when I switched over, I realized people took me more seriously. Instead of just randomly posting things, there is a strategy. Okay, cool. Okay, let's talk about, this was Lorraine's question about, you know, how to get followers. We're going to start talking about that the next three slides. <coughs> okay, so what are your goals on Instagram? With every social media marketing platform, it's important to have a strategy. We want to have specific goals, okay? So the three goals that you're going to have is number one, getting more followers. Number two, getting more engagement. Number three, getting more sales. Does that all make sense? And when I say followers, I don't just mean anybody because there's a lot of like models that are in bikinis that have like a million followers, but if they're men and they're selling women's clothes, it doesn't help them to have all their followers because they're not gonna make sales. So we don't care about followers or fans. What we care about is prospects and leads that can turn into clients and customers. Am I right? Am I right? We don't care if we have a million people. We would just like 5,000 people in Paramount or, or wherever if, if, if you are around the Paramount area that wants what we sell. That's who we care about, okay? So our goal is to get people to understand our brand, to like it, to trust it, to respect it um, by having brand recognition. And how are we going to do that? We're going to educate people uh, about what we sell. And remember what I said before, it's so important. On Instagram and other social media platforms, it's so important to show, not tell. So instead of telling people, Hi, I'm Deborah Darris. I'm a motivational speaker. I speak on the topics of mindset, peak performance, productivity, stress management. You can hire me at DebraDarris.com. That's boring. That's telling. That's like a commercial. People will tune that out. But so showing would be, are you frustrated because you have this negative mind chatter that is constantly sabotaging your success? Let me give you three tips to be able to shift from stressed to absolutely being motivated and, and then I start giving them the three steps. So that's showing them by giving them a taste of what I would deliver if I were to speak. Does that make sense? So showing, showing, showing. So for example, um, for the t-shirt example, um, Lorraine, I'd love for you to follow Hot Miami Styles. I know it's totally different from what you do in a little risque because they sell bikinis for South Bay, South Beach people that are very hot, so they're very tiny clothes, but they're very good at what they do. They have 1.1 million people on their retail store and are still selling and doing great during time of pandemic. Why? Because the way they're educating people, okay? So they're educating people, oh, we not only sell dresses, we also sell bathing suits. Or we know you that you know you want to look good in your living room even on quarantine here's a silky robe you can wear at home or fluffy slippers you could wear to be comfortable on your zoom calls so they educate you right um 
the other thing is you want to make people aware how you're unique. So your DNA, but you're not just DNA, you're not just custom shirts, you're spiritual custom shirts, right? For those people that really um, are interested in having motivation, upliftment, positivity um, in their life, you can make them aware, you know, and we're small business, we're local based, we don't outsource to China, whatever you need to let them know so that they understand your brand. I have a client, oh my God, she's doing so well during pandemic. Um, she sells like these soft baby blankets for like posh babies. So kind of for affluent people. And she had these little toddler outfits for Dodgers and for Lakers. And what she has a special that when you buy a piece of her clothing, she donates a, a piece of clothing to children in on the border that were caged. So it's just, oh my God. So it's so, and I'm like, you need to make people aware of that, right? Because um, on her social media, nothing talked about when you buy one, you give one. I'm like, you need to let people know on a regular basis because then they're not so guilty to buy a cute little Dodger toddler outfit. They're going to want to do it because they're also contributing to a cause that they feel close to their heart. Okay. So that's, you want to make people aware. What are you, what is it that you do? What's unique about Paramount Chamber? What's different about Paramount Chamber that other chambers don't do? How is your city unique? How are your member services unique? What is the value that people get that's unique? So you want to let people know that over and over again. So these are things on your Instagram that you're going to be reminding people. Just think about like Verizon. They do like wireless um, internet, right? Uh, phone service. They don't promote once and then they're done at the Super Bowl. They're constantly promoting for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, for New Year's, for Father's Day, for President's Day, right? Constantly. So we as small business owners need to constantly be promoting. It's not repetitive because people aren't always on Instagram. They're not always going to see it. Um, and also, People need to see our imprints of what we do and how we solve their pain or problem 10 times to make a sale. So it's not just one time. So that's why we need to post. And I'm going to give you some good news that you're going to like. Um, you really only need to post in your feed about three times a week. And guess what the three posts are going to be? Education, awareness, call to action. And you could literally, and I can help you in like a one-on-one -on -one session, make content categories. So for education, I do a video show. It's IGTV. I call it um, Align for Success. And I give people tips on how to overcome procrastination, how to get out of a funky mood, all this stuff. Uh, awareness. So awareness could be maybe like, I like to do animated GIFs because it makes it into a video. An Instagram favors video. All posts are not equal. So Instagram favors anything that's video. So on canva.com, I'm going to talk a lot about Canva. It's a graphic design um, program. You can get a free version, you get the paid version, but it can make a boring little flyer into a video text. So it makes it interesting. So that could be an awareness of an event, like I'm doing an event tonight, 1111. It's sold out on Instagram. So I'm really excited about that. Then the third post that you want to do, which you saw, um, I'm going to show you, this is the call to action. So the skin spot did enjoy 20% off our favorite brands. So whatever your call to action, it's not going to seem like you're selling. Um, on social media, we don't use the commercial, we use the infomercial. We educate people so that they want and need our product and service, right? So this call to action right here of this information is what we are going to do. Um, and so she was giving 20% off. Say you're Lorraine, you could say, um, Go to, my, go to the website and subscribe to get on our VIP list. You know, all of you, if you go to buy something at Target, they're not going to let you just buy it. They're going to have you register, become a member. Why? Because they want to send you newsletters. They want to send you offers. But when you frame things the right way, when you frame it, you know what I mean? It's not going to seem like you're selling 
it's going to seem like, oh, she's giving me a gift of 20% off. That doesn't seem like a sale. That seems like a goodie. Or Hot Miami Styles, what they'll do is they'll say, shop the gram. And they'll say, go to our website to get the discount code. And you have to sign up for their newsletter to get the discount code. And when you get the discount code, guess what? You're on their email list. So they remind me, oh, it's fall. You can't be wearing that pink. You got to get some animal print, right? Or they'll tell me like what's in fashion for the season, right? Um, so these are examples of calls to action. I like to say make a clear call to action. If you don't have an email newsletter, I highly recommend you start one. Um, you could use ConvertKit. I like ConvertKit. You could use ConvertKit sold some of my tickets for my event tonight, um, the newsletter. Um, you could also say DM me. Do you guys know what I mean when I say DM? That means direct message. So Instagram has its own little email box because that's what we need, another email box. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, the reason why we like this email box is because you can cultivate um, clients almost everybody that signed up for my workshop we had had conversations in that email box in that dm i have not seen those people a lot of them that signed up for my workshop some of them in 12 years but because my instagram is alive and marketing and because i'm dming and they're dming me and we're having conversations how are you doing during the pandemic what's going on with you right because they're former clients your best clients are your former clients are you keeping in touch with them? That's what your newsletter is for. That's what your Instagram is for, to stay at the top of the mind for your clients and customers. So if you don't have a newsletter, that's okay. You're going to get one. I'm going to help you. You could say, DM me your question. Okay, direct message me your question. And then people will message you. And uh, one of the clients that messaged me was the NASA Space Center in Houston. And they were looking for a speaker and they started asking me questions. We got on the phone and they flew me to Houston to do a training. That was like one of my biggest corporate clients through Instagram, right? And I'll talk to you about how they found me. Um, so if you have a freebie, do you know what I mean when I say freebie? It's like a lead generator. So your lead generator should be um, like an ebook. Um, maybe your Paramount Chamber of Commerce and you have. Um, five tips that every small business owner should do to thrive during the pandemic. Number one, join the chamber. <laughs> number two, uh, maybe number five is join the chamber. Okay, so number one, get your business online. Number two, take our webinars. <laughs> number three, um, you know, you can give them a whole list of things to do. And it's just a PDF, but it gives them a reason to join your newsletter because nobody wants to get on a newsletter and get another email. So in order for you to get people on your email, you want to give them a reason. So the, um, freebie isn't exactly the best word. What it's called in the world of marketing is lead generator. It gets people into your world. So um, I teach a webinar on how to podcast at home. And if I gave like on Instagram, like a little teaser about the podcast at home. And then I said, go to my website and get a list of the five pieces of equipment you need to podcast. And then I say, for more, sign up for the podcast at home webinar. And then from the podcast at home webinar, I upsell them to a coaching program. Do you see how Instagram is leading to sales? Cool, right? It's very cool. Okay, you could also, if you wanted to, have them subscribe to your YouTube channel. For, you know, I was doing YouTube for, for, um, for the Norwalk Chamber, and YouTube is, is a great platform because it's owned by Google. So you also can simultaneously build your YouTube and build your Instagram at the same time. Get your Instagram people to YouTube, get your YouTube people to Instagram. So D is the Join the VIP Members Club, which was the suggestion that I was giving to Lorraine. Okay, so these are all the things you can do. And the more that you story tell, there's a saying, facts tell, but stories sell. So facts are like an infomercial. Okay, this medicine helps you with diabetes. There's also these side effects, right? But if you tell a story, you know, my friend was diagnosed with type two diabetes and they were really suffering. 
blah, 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 blah. You tell the story and then the call to action is this product. So always go with stories. And that's why we have Instagram stories, which we'll talk about. I think that's in our series. Okay. I'm going to stop for a second to see if you have any questions. You can write them in the chat before I go on. If you have any questions, if you want to put them in the chat, and then I'm going to continue with how to get followers. Hi, Gabriella. Hi, Matthew. Wow, Matthew. Uh, hello. Great. Good morning. Good morning. Anybody have any questions? Or keep going. I am good. Okay. All right. Let's go on. Awesome. Okay. I hope this isn't overwhelming to you. My goal is not to overwhelm you. It's to educate you. And there's a lot of information to learn, which is why we broke this up into several webinars um, instead of giving you like a day of Instagram, because then it's just like a little bit too much. But we're going to just take it step by step. So if you have a phone that you can grab with Instagram on it, I want you to pick up your phone um, because some of you are very visual um, and you need to see it. So one of the, so I want you to go to your Instagram and look to see, um, do you have a business account? How do you know if you have a business account? Um, you know if you have a business account if it says the word insights. So they only give you insights, which is analytics, if you have a business account. If you don't have a business account, I recommend you convert your personal account to a business account. Why? Because in order for you to have shoppable links through Facebook, you need to have a business account. Um, they also give you more perks with a business account. It's not like Facebook. Facebook, if you have a business account, that means nobody sees your page and you're like having to pay for ads. Right now, Instagram isn't like that. It may be like that in the future, but right now it's not. Um, so what we want to do is we want to um, make sure that it's a business account. If you don't know how to do that, you can go to YouTube and type in how to set up my Instagram as a business account. And it's literally like three steps or I can walk you through it in a one-on-one -on -one session. Okay, the next thing you wanna do is decide um, a scheduling app that you wanna use. Plan that, planally or later, and because it'll let you schedule your posts and stories. Do you see Koya? So this is her headshot. So here's the deal when it comes to the image on your profile. You could look at your profile. You see my profile, you could follow me. I'm Latina speaker, Latina speaker. Get some ideas from my, from my Instagram. Um, you will get more followers if you have a picture rather than a logo. I know for some of you, your business is your business and it's not you. So it makes sense to do a logo logically, but from a marketing perspective, people wanna follow people. So if they think they're following a logo, it may feel kind of abstract, it may feel sterile, and they may not wanna follow you. So you'll get more followers with a high quality headshot. The next thing you wanna do, and you can look at your Instagram if you, know, you want to, or you look at hers, this is not my client, but she is, uh, I think, just an inspiration on Instagram. She is based in New York, and she is a pelvic pain doctor, okay? She's a female physician. She only has 149 posts, but she has 13,000 followers, which are probably people that are her patients or her potential target clients. And what you want to do in your bio, so you're, this is your bio right here on Instagram, the little description. And what you should do in that bio, you have 30 characters, is you should type out, uh, you know, like a one sentence of what you do. So the Paramount Chamber provides small business resources for blah, 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 blah. And then you want to give people like an incentive to join. So you could say, you know, for your free pandemic survival kit, click on the link below. And then that link gets them on your email list. So from your bio on Instagram, you're building your email list. So Paramount Chamber, when you have an event, it's going to be sent out to more people. You can grow and grow and grow. Okay. So um, if you use emojis, it'll make it pop a little bit more. You can use like a Google Doc to write your 
bio and then copy and paste it. It'll be easier than just typing it in here. Um, the other thing that you can do on your Instagram that you're going to love is um, you're going to be able to put a link. So remember I talked about the calls to action and all the different things that you can use for the calls to action. There is, see where it says link tr.ee slash Koya web. Linktree is a free um, platform that allows you to have multiple links. So if I'm DNA, I might have t-shirts. Um, I might have spiritual saying products. I might have um, just a shopping page, what, or I might have a discount Thanksgiving holiday. So you're able to put multiple links. So we love that, that multiple links, um, because we're able to promote our podcast, our YouTube, um, get people on our email list. We're able to send people to shop, whatever we want to do. And there's a free version and a paid version. I just upgraded to the paid version. I really don't see any benefit. Probably go back to the free version. Why pay for anything? <laughs> That's why I have no television. So, um, but you see that? See, she has 990,000 followers. Wow. These are called highlights. We're going to talk about these in a minute. So this circle right here, this is where your stories live. If there is an Instagram live that you did, this will be flashing because it'll let you know that you went live. Um, they changed Instagram where they used to let you, if you had an Instagram live, keep the live for 24 hours on your feed but now they're requiring you to put it into IGTV. So for some of you, it doesn't matter, you're not doing live, um, but I'm gonna teach you how to do live and why. So I changed my handle. See right here where it says the social media goddess? I changed it to Latina speaker. Why? Your Instagram handle is a way that people can remember who you are. And some of you may be thinking, oh, it should be your business name or it should be your name. Not necessarily. So if you are a household name and everybody knows who you are, your Procter & Gamble or your, you know, Clorox bleach or whatever, you can have your company name. But if you're not a household name, what you should put for your handle is your keywords. That's why she put pelvic pain doctor. That's why... Sheila put the skin spot, keyword skin. So whatever is the keyword that people are searching for on Instagram, Instagram has its own search, just like Google has a search bar. Instagram has a search bar where people can search for things. It's very cool. It's called the hashtag hub. Some of you may not even know it exists, but it's there. We're going to talk about it when we do the hashtag webinar. Where do you find the hashtag hub? There is a little magnifying glass like Sherlock Holmes or the Explorer and you're able to look things up. So if I wanted to look up Paramount, I'm just going to put Paramount in the, see if there's anything that comes up. So yeah, the Paramount Chamber does come up. Number three, yay! So in the search hub, when I put keyword Paramount, I find lovely, I'm going to follow you right now, Paramount Chamber of Commerce. Good job. High five, okay? So we all wanna have a handle to be found. So if I'm a small business owner and I'm in Paramount, I'm like, well, what services are there in Paramount? Well, number one, there is Paramount Post, which is the city of Paramount. There's Paramount Unified School District. Um, there's Paramount Studios. And then of course the chamber, awesome. So it's very important that this handle and you can easily change it go to edit bio and where it says handle and then you can put your name and some hashtags of key words right so you always want to have key words do you see these these are highlights i'm going to teach you how to make highlights um, these highlights are essentially the same as a menu so you know on your website you have a menu bar where it says about services contact me this highlights are just like a menu. So anything you want people to know about webinars, I actually changed all of these. This was before the pandemic because I don't do my podcast anymore. I don't do my Wednesday webinars anymore because I'm doing like five 
10 webinars a week. So, uh, but that's how I started doing webinars. I put a webinar link on my Instagram and then all of a sudden the word got out on the street that I'm doing webinars. And now I have two to three webinars sometimes per day. Today I have two. Um, so here is an example of highlights. So how to set up highlights. Um, do you see the skin spot? She has her skin products, skincare, promos, new arrivals, devices, acne, pregnancy. I think she has more. I really only recommend that you have five. Um, and what you can use to create these. So like if I was the Paramount Chamber, maybe I would have membership, events, webinars, um, what's new? I don't know. Um, feature, and then you could feature a business. You know, there's so much you could do, right? So anyway, so you can make these highlights at canva.com. So canva.com has what's called Instagram story highlight covers. So you need to make the covers before you put the information. So the, just so the covers are going to be what people see in front and it'll look beautiful. If you don't put covers, it will look messy. It will just have pictures and it won't look good. So this is free. You go to canva.com, select a color that you like. And what you do is, and I can help you with this in a one-on-one -on -one session if you can't follow, um, is you upload it to your stories, the highlight. And then after you're done uploading it to your stories, you go back into your stories, you click on star, and when you click on star, it says add to highlight. And then you label the highlight, membership, events, webinars, or if you're Lorraine, t-shirts, quotes, you know, whatever products you have. So then you're able to sell products three ways on Instagram. One, the link in the bio, two, the highlights, three, um, through your lead generator, four, the DM, five, through stories, six, through your feed, seven, through reels. There's so many ways actually of selling. That's why while I was waiting for everyone to come on. I started selling on Instagram. I'm like, might as well have Instagram sell for me while I'm with you. So instead of thinking, oh my God, this is so much work. It's such a burden. I want you to Think of Instagram as a salesperson. It's like a salesperson that you don't have to pay on payroll. They're free. So this salesperson, while you're with me on this webinar, through your stories, through your feed, can be making you money. I wake up, I, I go from, I wake up in the morning and I look at my phone. I'm like, oh my God, there's money deposited from the sales that Instagram made for me last night. Fantastic. Fantastic. You're going to, some of you that hate social media will love it when it starts making you money. So Lorraine had a great question earlier about followers. Um, so here's a little trick. I'm going to give you a lot of tricks. You're going to love it because I want you to grow faster and easier. So you can make a list of your top five competitors. So like say you're the Paramount Chamber. You could look at other chambers of commerces and what, and it doesn't even have to be local because what I did with the Beverly Hills Chamber is they looked at the best in class. And I think the best chamber around town at that time was North Carolina and all the things that they were doing on their social media and how they were getting engagement. So you can look at your competitors and see what are some of their best practices, right? And this is how you're gonna be able to get ideas and inspiration for content. So same thing with you, Lorraine. You can look at other inspirational custom shirt companies. What are they doing, right? How, and you don't wanna look at people that are struggling. You wanna look at people with the best engagement. How do you do that? Through the Instagram search bar. Remember that search bar is your friend. That's how I found Paramount Chamber. I wasn't following Paramount Chamber, but then I went to search, I found them, now I'm following them. So you can make a list of your top five competitors and, and you can look at their followers. So their followers most likely could be your followers. So people that like spiritual quotes from one t-shirt company might like it for yours. And maybe they like your quotes better. Maybe like they like the quality of your short of your shirts better. 
How are they going to know that? Because remember, in your feed, three times a week, you're going to post. What is unique about your brand? You're going to educate them about the quality of the shirt. You're going to educate them about the process, that it's made in the USA, that it's homegrown, that it's, you know, whatever the story is. Remember, facts tell, story sell. So you can follow um, some of your competitors, get inspiration. I have a client, he sells boba. I don't know if you know boba. It's like a Filipino tea. Um, and he has a kit for Filipino tea. So we looked at like some competitors that were doing similar things and we saw what were they doing well? What were they not doing well? And so he knew how to create his page. We also looked at his competitors and the ones that came up high, what were the hashtags they were using? And we were able to, like I grew my account by following a very popular Latina speaker, because I'm a Latina speaker, and I looked at her hashtags, and I was able, on the desktop, you could go to Instagram, and I was able to copy and paste her hashtags into a document, then I went to my phone. You know that they have auto-replace text? So every time I write hash, it puts all of her hashtags right into my comments, and I'm able to grow. I'm not stealing them, she doesn't own those hashtags. She's using them, but she doesn't own them. But I noticed she started following me once I started using her hashtags. I'm like, ah, I got her attention. And that's what we want to get, the intention of our target market. How are we going to get their intention? We need to engage with them on Instagram. How are we going to engage with them? We need to comment on what they post. And this is where it starts to take a little bit of time. They used to have bots, like computer robots, that would do this for you, and you would pay a company like $75 a month, and they would promise you that they would get you followers that would be true followers. Um, however, Instagram put the kibosh on that. They do not like you to do that, and they penalize you. When I say they penalize you, they could shut down your account for using bots, like if you use a computer program. Um, so you don't want to you know, build up your account and have it shut down because you're doing against their Instagram policies. So how are you going to do this follow follower thing? You could get a virtual assistant or an intern. You can get them at Elance, Fiverr, online jobs. One of the best ways that I've gotten virtual assistants and interns is asking other business owners. This is something that if the Paramount Chamber has a Facebook group and they have conversations, you could start a conversation in the Facebook group and ask the businesses, if you don't have a Facebook group, Paramount Chamber, I would recommend getting one because that's where people can talk and share resources and create community and create value in their membership, which increases retention. Just an idea I had. Okay. Um, so what you want to do to, if you say there is a shirt company, because it doesn't matter if it's in Paramount or not, because um, people can order your shirts online, right? Now you're global. Thank you, pandemic. I went from local to global, right? All of us. So um, you could follow their followers. And when you follow their followers, you actually have to put a comment. Because if you don't put a comment, they may not follow you back. And the comment is, could be something like, nice post. You've seen people do this to you. Where you're like, how did this person out of the blue suddenly like my picture? Because they researched you by your hashtags, by your keywords, they found you, then they commented on you, then you followed them back. See, it works. Um, if you don't wanna do that, cause that's a little laborious, um, what you can do is create excellent content. So when you create excellent content, like Koya did to get to a million, like Hot Miami Styles did, like the Skin Spot, all very different. Koya sells yoga, Skin Spot sells skincare, um, Hot Miami Style sells clothing, all different products, all different services, but they have great content. So use those examples that I'm giving you and observe. Why? Because success leaves clues. See how they're doing their videos. See how they're doing their stories. See how they're posting. And remember, you are not selling on social media. You're solving their pain or problem. And when you position your brand by educating people on what you do, giving them a clear call to action, people will want to buy your product and service and be looking on how to buy whatever you sell, okay? So be sure that you're storytelling and not selling. 
Storytelling is what will get you the increase in revenue. Okay, so I said this before, I'm saying it again, how to turn followers into sale, great, awesome content. What is awesome content? It has three categories and these categories can have themes. So for education, I used to have, I don't write this second, I used to have Tune In Tuesday where I would have my podcast and I would educate people how to be a paid speaker. I stopped doing that because the speaking industry went like this. It's kind of like the movie business because you know conferences have been canceled. So there's not, I, I just don't feel an integrity to promote that. So I stopped promoting that. Instead, I have this show called Align for Success that teaches your business how to pivot to increase your revenue. I do a free Instagram live once a week. So that's a theme. Awareness, right? So awareness is maybe, Lorraine, one of the quotes that you use on your shirt, you have that as a post. So once a week, you do one of your spiritual quotes. You're probably already doing this, but are you doing it as a video? So to do it as a video, you go to Canva and you click animate and it'll animate your quote. When you animate your quote and make it into like a GIF movement video, you're gonna get more discovered on Instagram. Why? Because Instagram and Facebook, both owned by Zuckerberg, they favor videos. When I say they favor videos, they show videos more in the algorithm. They put you to the top of the feed. Third thing that I talked about over and over and over, and this is with everything. I, you know, I learned so much from teaching you. <laughs> and one of the things I learned from many of my webinars is that I wasn't often having before, um, 10 years ago, a clear call to action. So every time we're posting, you know, once a week, we want to have a clear call to action. What was um, Nazarian's call to action, 20% off. These are our favorite things. Um, call to action for Hot Miami Styles. Get on our newsletter so that you can get your um, free you know, coupon code. Not free coupon code, your discount coupon code. What is Koya's call to action? Koya's call to action is like watch my YouTube or watch my IGTV. And she gives you so much valuable content that gets you to buy. Okay, so these are the keys. So a theme could be like I have Transformational Tuesday or Align for Success. Awareness is, could be an animated post, could be a video. Then you give them an offer. Remember, it's not a sale. It's an offer. It's a gift, okay, which leads to a sale. But when you position it as an offer, 20% off, people are like, wow, thank you. Thank you for offering me that. <laughs> right? Or maybe you did a chamber drive and they say, don't wait till January to join the chamber. When you join the chamber in November, because it's November, which is gratitude month, we thank you by giving you two months free. So like they join in November, but they get the whole year of 2021 free. Not free. They, they get it with the free November, December, something like that. Okay. So if you wanted to have multiple links, on your Instagram so that you can get people to cross pollinate like your YouTube, like your Facebook, like your website. Um, you could use Linktree or LNK in bio, dot bio. This is the website, this is the website. I'm gonna show you an example. So this woman, I love her. She says we met at an event, but I, I didn't remember meeting her, but I do remember seeing her on Instagram she is fantastic. When I say she's fantastic, her, I, her social media is fantastic. She says she hired somebody to do this. So she has a link in bio. This is her Instagram. When I go to her Instagram and I click link in bio, it takes me to this. It's like a website, right? And it says free ebook, Latina Guide to Money. She is a, a financial planner. And then she's having a vision board party. Then it's a financial boot camp. Book an appointment. Servicios en Español también. Wow. So she's getting people on her email list. Probably every single one of these except for the book and appointment, which is great idea, by the way. For those of you that use Acuity Scheduling or Calendly, and say people wanna inquire about membership, you could have one day during the week where you have 15 minute sessions where you have conversations with people via phone or via Zoom to talk about all the benefits of chamber membership. You convert them, you get 10 new chamber members a week. You're not mad at yourself. You're like, great. So you can use that. And there's a free version 
or a paid version. So the free version isn't branded. Like you couldn't have your picture. Um, it's just generic. And if you have the paid version, I can't remember how much it is, then you can customize your colors and make it look pretty. Um, uh, I'm not gonna go over that. Okay, those two slides that I just skipped were specifically for the Beverly Hills Chamber because they wanted to know how to use um, Instagram for like food pickup. But since none of us are doing food, it doesn't apply to you. But I will send you the PowerPoint so you have it just in case some of you came later and you do have a restaurant. Okay, so canva.com is your friend. It creates gifts. It um, helps you with posts. It creates banners. And it's simple and easy. I am not a graphic designer and I don't pretend to be. But they have templates that are made by graphic designers. I don't have to do anything. Um, I also love video editing um, using the InShot app. For those of you that do videos, you can make banners at the bottom of them. You could make captions. You could make images to make them compelling. Um, today, right before I got on this webinar, I used the Mojo app for IG stories. Go to my Instagram. It's Latina speaker. Do you know how to follow my stories? Just press my face like this. <laughs> when you press my face, you'll see what the Mojo app did. It's amazing. It looks like it was professionally designed because it's all video. And they made a series of five templates for me. They graphically designed it. All I did was edit it, change the text, change the picture, boom, put it out in my stories. Come back later to my Instagram, boom, there will be some sales. Um, oh my God, our time is ticking away. I gotta take your questions. So th this is an example of the scheduler, plan that. I like plan that because it gives you ideas regarding your business for posting. And it also shows you the grid. Why does it show you the grid? Because it helps you to see what the squares look like. I didn't realize that you need to pay attention to how things look next to each other because you wanna have consistency. So picture, video, quote, picture, video, quote, so that it's, it looks like a magazine. It doesn't look like a hot mess. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some activities, income producing activities, and then I'm gonna take questions. So what I recommend you do first thing is make sure you have a business account. How do you know if you have a business account? Go to your Instagram, see if it says insights. If it doesn't say insights, I'm gonna look at Paramount Chamber. I don't know, it's hard to tell. Um, if it doesn't say insights, you probably do not have a business account. Um, also, we want to get your highlights going, right? Um, so you definitely want to create those highlight covers using Canva. So and see how it says free webinar on Paramount Chamber? It'll be, it'll have a cover. So it'll say membership, webinars, um, high, featured, like featured member, about, like you're going to have like your menu, Paramount Chamber, that you have on your website, you're going to have it here on your Instagram. We'll talk about it. Definitely rewrite your bio. Write it a clear, compelling one sentence of the problem you solve. Because so, people need to know who you are. And it's only 30 characters, so it's like one sentence. I'm a real estate agent in the Paramount area helping you to buy your first house. I'm just making that up. Make sure that your Instagram handle is using the keywords, okay? So Paramount Chamber, high five, you're doing it. I don't know about the rest of you. So make sure that you are on track with that so that people can find you. Literally, NASA um, Space Center was looking for a Latina speaker because they had a Latina high school that was coming over and they wanted somebody that represented their students. So they Googled, not Googled, they searched on Instagram Latina speaker and they found my Instagram and flew me to Texas. I was like, wow, I love Instagram because clarity is cash. And when you're clear, you do the education, unique brand awareness call to action. People know how to hire you, not just people, your ideal target market, which for me is NASA. Um, get a free Canva account so you can start making nice graphic design. If you have the free program, you just have to remember to, to Keep your color palette the same and your fonts the same for brand consistency. Um, if you do not have a free account, you have the paid account, they'll save your palette for you. It makes it easier. Um, I did upgrade to the paid account and I love it, but 
I have a lot of paid accounts. I got the link tree, I got that, I got that. It adds up, so I'm not trying to have you pay. You don't have to pay. Start brainstorming content ideas. Remember, you only need to post three times a week. So make a whiteboard, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and think about, what am I gonna post? Okay, I'm Paramount Chamber. Tuesday, I'm gonna do Tip Tuesday, Small Business Tip of the Week. Wednesday, Wealth Wednesday, we're gonna talk about all the workshops, all the webinars that can make you money, Paramount Businesses. Thursday, we're gonna have Testimonial Thursday, where you have Chamber members give you testimonials. There you go, you're done, Paramount Chamber. So you wanna start creating compelling calls to action. So what are you going to use as a worm to get people on your email list, to get more sales? Um, decide about your multiple links. If you wanna schedule appointments, you can have Calendly. I don't have my Calendly in there, just because I don't have any room on my calendar for more appointments. But I will for you, Paramount Chamber, and all of you here. Any of you that need help with this, um, I'm available to help you. Um, if you're not already registered with the Long Beach Small Business Development Center, here's the link. Um, you can also, um, let me put a different email on here. Um, that's not the best email to reach me. Um, I'll give you a different email. It's my small business email. Um, it's ddaris at smallbiz. But you really want to go through the um, center, the Long Beach Small Business Development Center. Only if you have a problem and can't get through, then you can email me. Um, but I'm here to everything I talk to you about, to customize it to you, to make it make sense for you. And by the way, this is one webinar out of a series, thanks to Barbara, that we're doing here. So if you come back next week, we're gonna have um, another webinar on Instagram, I think hashtags, and then we're gonna do Instagram stories. And if you want, later on, we could do Instagram live, we could do IGTV, we could do reels. There's six different webinars on Instagram because there's so much to learn. There's so many ways to make money. Don't think of it as, oh my God, there's too much. Think of it as, oh my God, I didn't know how Instagram could be my salesperson. Okay, we started late, so I need to stop my 